Hey, what up? What up, what up, what up? What up, what up? I was thinking today of things that people have in common regardless of what demographic or what uh, what race you are. Um, and it brought me to think of the American flag and I always, always replace mine. I've been doing that forever and I have most of the ones since I've owned a house myself because that was like pretty much unreachable. When it comes to our circle of being and my like family and stuff like it was especially for someone like me that supposedly was unreachable but anyways anywhere I've ever lived and paid rent I've always had a flag on my place and uh, definitely does represent everybody the flag does and it uh, just for the fact that we've all had somebody. If you wanna lower yourself to the standard of having to identify as a color or as a demographic of any kind rather than just an American, uh, we all have that in common. That we've had somebody that risked it all, gave up everything for us. So, I don't know, take a look around and see if you're donning a flag if not or not donning but if you have a uh, flag where you live and then maybe if you're not that type of person or you just never thought about it maybe look into it and see what it represents and maybe think about whether or not if you knew the truth and the fact of what the flag represents you know if you would put a flag up proudly you know, maybe keep it nice and clean. Once it starts getting tattered or dirty or anything like that, it's you wrap it up. It's done. Don't let it hit the floor. Take it off. It doesn't take that long. It's not that expensive. And it represents so much for all of us, everybody, regardless of who you are and what your belief system is. Even your belief, the way you believe there's somebody that believes in the same shit you do that has fought and died for this country and for you. So I don't know. I figured I would drop that shit down real quick. Think about it, but put one up and keep it clean. If yours is dirty, it's real quick. Just replace it. And then after a while, it's kind of cool because it didn't dawn on me until today that I have like two cabinets full of flags, big cabinets, tall cabinets that are just full of flags that container the new one comes in I I first fold up real nice and neatly the one I'm taking down and I put it in that same container and then put the new one up and then I just for some reason I just would put them in the because I can't what am I going to do with it I'm not going to throw it in the trash so I have a lot a lot of them so I figured hey I wonder if other people would be interested in doing their own research and seeing what that flag truly represents and then understand that some complete stranger did the most they could do to fight for you you know maybe think about putting one up might help somebody one day like say you put one up I, nobody had one where I live now. Nobody had one up and I moved here. And at, within about two years, because I would replace it often because it gets dirty. And then this one is, it's weird with this, the last one, because it was uh, it was still clean. You know, I even rinse it off whenever we uh, rinse out, like when we do our plants or whatever. You can't say the grass because the grass is dead, it's dirt. But uh, whenever I water the plants, I'll hose the flag off so it gets the dust out of it. And it kind of helps since I started doing that and made it cleaner. Plus, they treat our water with a low-level amount of bleach that's toxic to humans, but it keeps your flags clean. So I'm game. Fuck it. So anyways, it had a rip in it. It was weird. 
So I know who made it. I'm going to send an email saying, hey, probably get those stitches right, bruh. So they could kind of extra stitch. Don't go cheap on the stitch, flag makers. All right. Hope everybody does something positive every day. At least think positive every day. All right. Peace out. Have a good day.